Hello Stratters, Bobgar here with $10 Deck. We are playing against Christmas Trees. I like Christmas Trees. I will keep this hand. It does not strike me as particularly good, but it's not bad enough to mulligan. I do have one, two, three, and four drops, and I have two lands in hand, so it feels like I could keep it. Hello, good luck. Um, if he's a fast deck, I'm probably still in a lot of trouble. Um, Mist Meadow is not a great two drop. I'd much rather have my Wall of Omens or something, but it is what it is. In fact, I might, given that I have Thraben Inspector, depending on what he does here, I very well might just uh, crack a clue turn two. I could play out a second Thraben Inspector too. Um, I don't think that's worth it yet. I'd rather clock the, crack the clue and hope to hit a land in the next two draw steps so I can get to three. Next turn, I very well might three of an inspector crack a clue. Uh, I, I need to get I need to get some lanes online to make this work. Okay, he brings in Stalking Grounds tapped. I wonder what deck he is. Green, red, black, secure tribe elder. Sure, crack a clue. Get a land, perfect. Um Well. I think this is the right play. Just uh, play down another three of inspectors, swing in. I don't think I want to play Miss Metal Witch here. I think I just want to uh, crack another clue. Again, maximize my chance of drawing another land. Um, unfortunately, the Magus of the Disc combo, for the second time in a row, like we're playing against a deck that's pretty well positioned to deal with us because creature combat is not really going to be an issue here. And that's really, you know, a lot of what this deck is built around. I'm assuming this is a Valakate deck just because it's playing the Sakura Tribe Elder's ramp. That is that is usually the kind of deck that, that plays that. Well, that's not very good against me, and I guess I could force him to kill it. Oh, I'm only running three of those guys. I got them both. So unfortunately, I'm pretty high mana requirements right now. I might have to evoke the Mole Drifter just to hit land. I don't. Although I can't play Magus. So my options here are Evoke Mole Drifter, uh, Eerie Interlude to generate some clue tokens, which doesn't feel super good. I mean, I think the way I win this game is probably through a Frost Titan, although I'm not sure I win this game at all. So if that's true, uh, it's hard It's hard to want to evoke the Mole Drifter since you could hard, I could hard cast it next turn if I draw a land. I think evoking it is still the right move. I think I just need... I'm keeping weight up in case I draw one of my weight one drops. Okay. Um, it's going to be a little awkward if I draw one of my Nimbus Mazes, which I did. Uh, I can't play it here anyway. I might play it next turn, it just depends. Depends if I want to get the Magus down mostly. Inquisition of Kozilek, sure. He can take any of those. Eerie Interlude is probably the strongest to take. I could see an argument for taking Wall of Omens too, or, or even Magus of the Disc. But he doesn't seem like a creature heavy deck. He does take Eerie Interlude. That's what I figured he would probably take. I don't really know what he's doing. He's down to four cards in hand. Liliana, sure. He could sack. Fulminator Mage at any point to uh Um I could double block here. That actually no, I don't I don't want to do that. I want to make him sack it. Uh I don't think my lane's in jeopardy yet. Yeah, I wonder what deck he is. It's weird to run Secure Tribe Elder in this kind of more fairy deck. Usually you only run that if you really want to have lanes in play for some reason. You know, like there's better normal ramp cards. Um Maybe he, I don't know if he's a Valakid deck or not. It seems very strange. All right, he sacks it just to flipper. Sure. Each player discards a card. That doesn't seem like a big deal. Um, I mean, it's a little tricky. I think I discarded Magus of the Disc here. I just don't think it's very good on this board.
Okay, I drew another Eerie Interlude, which admittedly makes the Magus of the Disc way better, but still, I, I mean, it's fine. And I did get another land, which is really nice. One, two, three, four, five, six. So I can slam down Frost Titan next turn, um, which might be the play, depending on what he does. Either that or I can, so I could Eerie Interlude here and draw a bunch of cards. I think I missed Metal Witch here. I think that's fine. I don't think I bother swinging in here. You could just take eat one and I would get nothing, so that doesn't seem worth it. It's up to five mana. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah. Boy discards a card, sure. Um, at this point, it's probably more worth it for me to discard Frost Titan, although I don't actually know. Uh, they're both pretty good. I don't know. It's, it's a little tricky, because if I keep the Frost Titan, I can just play Frost Titan into Frost Titan, which feels pretty good, too. You know what? I'm going to discard Yuri in early. I guess I can't do that, because they're going to probably make me discard whatever else I draw. Well, maybe not. I don't know. It's hard, it's hard to say. Corrupt Decay on that. Absolutely. That's totally fine. Um... I do not require that. That is not something that I care about. And I drew another one anyway. All right. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Frost Titan. I'll tap that down. Attack Liliana. Fortunately, I don't really want to, but I think her ultimate is good enough. Uh, you get an emblem with whatever creature dies, return it to the battlefield. Your... Yeah, I think that's good enough that I, I don't want it to happen, so. Unfortunately, I need to attack Liliana. Stormbreath Dragon, sure. He attacks in with it. It's, it's good, though. It means he's not defending Liliana, right? And. Hydro from White and. Uh, I just protected from white. So he discards a card. Yeah, Miss Metal, which is fine to discard for me. I mean, it doesn't I don't want to discard anything, but if I have to discard something, that seems fine. Draw. Um. Yeah, I think playing down the other Frost Titan is the right move. So I actually might win this game, which is a little surprising. I'll just uh, I'll keep your storm breath tapped. I don't really want it to untap. Attack. And I'll keep uh, I'll keep this tap down. So I kill off Liliana. He goes to sixteen. The storm breath is tapped, and one of his lands is tapped. And he has a land for turn. So yeah, I I, th I find it hard to believe he will win this game. Although if he draws the right thing, you never know. I draw land. Not the best, but... Um, let's do it like that. I don't know. I don't know which one is the right one to keep up. But Mole Drifter. I guess maybe the other way is better because I have more white one drops. But it doesn't really matter. Uh, I think I'll keep this in hand because I'd rather play it for five. I think I attack all. Let's tap that down. Let's keep that tap down. So this is a little risky because he could have a big creature here, or a big effect here, but I'm keeping both his things tapped down. He goes to two life. Uh, he goes to one life. So he needs something, he needs his draw step here to be big. Uh, if it's a Wrath, I'm in a little trouble, probably. Nope, got there. Sweet. So, got there, ter game one against Christmas Tree. I don't know exactly, you see, it was, some of his deck made sense, and then it was a little weird that he was running, like, S Sakura Tribe Elder. So I don't, I don't know exactly what to expect from him. Uh, I actually think my build is pretty good. He does have some removal, so I'm not sure I want... I don't think I want Fiend Hunter over Reflector Mage. That's the reason he's in here. If they don't have a lot of removal, Fiend Hunter is super big, especially. Especially with Panharmonicon, where you can exile one of the two things. You, you get to exile two things with it, and one of them you get to do permanently. 
Um, I didn't see anything worth ghost quartering. I didn't see anything in his graveyard worth killing Fragmentize. I didn't see any meaningful artifacts enchantments. I didn't see any non-creature spells. So I don't think the sideboard really just, just doesn't really come into play here. Um, I worry that I could just get too far behind on board, especially if he gets that Liliana flipped and makes me discard a lot of cards. But other than that, I didn't see things that were scary. I am on the draw. Um, I do have two one-drops. It's tempting to keep this, but it is risky. It's not super good, but it does have a bunch of little things I like, and none of them are that expensive. I'm going to try it. We'll see how much I hate my life. It really depends if I draw a land in the first... If I draw a land in the first two turns, I feel totally fine. Yes. I would have rather had a blue land, but that's good enough. So I three of an inspector. I would have probably done the other one first, but I really want to hit my land drop, so getting the extra draw step off the clue next turn will be pretty good. Okay, secure tribe builder as expected. If this is another land here, I might not have to go in. I could also play double soul warden, wouldn't be bad, but I think it's more important to hit the land drops here. I'll start double soul warding after I have my. Uh... Okay, he blocks and sacks, that's fine. Technically, momentary blink if I really need to here. I probably won't need to. Three mana. Hunt. Oh, four mana. Hunt Master of the Gulls. Sure. It's a pretty big game. It's a pretty scary creature. I still don't know what the theme of his deck is. I mean, it's a good deck. I just don't know what he's doing. I mean, I think I just break this. I think that's the right play. And I do get a land. It's another white land. I really need a blue. Um, all right. Play down a Wild Omens, draw a card, another Riftwing. So we are not hitting super well here. Uh, I do have the ability to Eerie Interlude to blink both of those, draw another card, get another clue token. That could be worth it. I'm not going to do that. I can't do that here, obviously. Oh, I should have played down a Soul Warden. That was very silly of me. That was actually really bad. I don't know why I didn't do that. Uh, he swings in with both, block this one. What if he just plays no spells this turn in order to flip on Master? Looks like that's what he's doing. I think when he flips, he gets to deal three damage. So he probably just kills three of an Inspector. Yep. Oh, it's only two damage. I thought it was three for some reason. Draw step, be a land. Nope, it's a Panharmonicon. All right, I think I Soul Warden here. What transforms him back? Um, I think I don't want to play a second spell then. Uh, I might just momentary blink Wall of Omens on his turn, or, or I could do it on Soul Warden, but I really don't want to. Lightning Bolt, sure, that's fine. I guess I could have blinked it there to save it, but I don't really care about it that much. So I play Secure Tribe Elder. Does he have a second play here to flip it back? Okay. Block here. Momentary blink. And hopefully this will draw me into a land. Okay, draw a card. Yes, and it's an island. Perfect. I'm off to the races. Um, yeah, it doesn't feel super good, but it doesn't feel that bad either. Thought sees is a little annoying. I actually don't know what he wants to take here. Uh, it's possible that. Reflector Mage is what he takes. That's the one that I would view as most annoying. Panharmonicon is also a little scary. Um, I could certainly take over the game pretty quick with it. He takes Reflector Mage. Okay. That that makes a lot of sense to me, although I'm not sure it's what I would have taken. Um, yeah, he gets to flip it back and put a wolf into play. Um, I think I play... One, two... So basically he does four damage this turn. Yeah, I think I, uh, I think I slammed down Panharmonic on here. Not the most glamorous play, but it feels pretty good to me. He grabs another land. Huntmaster of the Fells can take over the game if you if you just don't have the answers to him. And right now I just don't. So he's gonna attack with all, and then probably just. I would guess he just doesn't bother casting a spell so he can flip it. I don't know. Nope. Yeah, that's what he does. 
So he gets to do two damage to me. I go down to six. Sure. I go to, so I'm at six. I go to four. Draw a card. Be a land. All right. That's not what I needed. Um, so I'm going to Soul Warden. Then the question is, I could hold up, I could block two, hold up Eerie Interlude. That seems like the right play because I don't want to flip him back yet, or I mean, I don't want to flip him back at all. So I just I pass turn. So you have something to play on end step. He lightning bolts here. So yeah, I should probably, I should probably Eerie Interlude here and save them. Oh no, I can't do that, can I? Got it. All right, so I can't do that. I take it. Uh, I think that's probably game then, right? Yeah, I think he, I think he got it. So I played that wrong. I should have flipped it back. I didn't know he had the lightning bolts. And yeah, doing it on end step blew me out. If he hadn't done it on end step, I would have been fine. Alright, well, I'll blink it. I don't have a creature to sack. And now you swing and win the game, but that's fine. Yep. GG. Oh, GG. Alright, well, it was a it was still a pretty grindy game. He got there against me. Uh turn three, Huntmaster against uh, I just my my Mana was a little awkward. I think I want to run it the same, though. None of those seemed particularly scary. And yeah, he runs so many Lightning Bolts, Fiend Hunter is just a dead card. So I, I think I want to keep it the same. Uh, maybe slamming down Panharmonicon was the wrong choice there. It felt pretty good, but it was just I didn't have the right mana to make it work. Well, this is a keep. It's a pretty easy keep. I don't know if the, de the hand is good enough, but you pr I pretty much have to keep hands like this. I would have rather not had so many momentary blinks, but turn one three inspector with two lands is always pretty much fine. Hopefully I just draw another land naturally, but if I don't, I will break the clue. I mean, I, if I don't have a two drop anyway next turn, I'm just going to break the clue. Sure, take whatever you want. Probably takes Reflector Mage here. Reflector Mage is, of the cards in my hand, it's the best. But that doesn't really do that much to me. I'm just going to slam down a land. I guess that was the one he knew about, so maybe it was the worst play, but get in for two. Okay, he gets to take one of my momentary blinks. That's fine. Uh, one, I can play them from my graveyard anyway, and two, they're not the best. They're probably one of the weakest cards in my uh, deck, so I really don't mind him taking them. And it looks like I'm going to get it to four for Panharmonicon. I do at this point need to draw into something good. Uh, it's possible I momentary blink the Thraven Inspector just to get another draw step, but I'll, I'll need to decide whether I want to do that or not um, at the end of his turn, probably. He's not doing a whole lot, which is good for me. I guess he could bolt it in response, and I don't want to take that risk, so I will pass turn. I did not hit well, and now I get Panharmonic on that at least, so if I decide I do want to momentary blink that, um, Yep, he has the bolts, so he was just waiting to see if I blinked it. So now I need to draw like any of my million creatures, but I have a ton of land, which is nice. And I have a Panharmonicon in play, and he doesn't he's not doing that much yet, so I don't feel super bad yet. Uh, he did t tear my hand apart a little bit with the Inquisitions of Kozilek, but the only thing that he took that was really relevant was the uh, Reflector Mage, and he hasn't even played a creature such that it would matter. So uh, I'll slam down another land, draw a couple cards. That was a pretty good draw just because... Um, oh yeah, here I'm just going to pass, just because I was out of action, so two mana draw two cards is uh, very good against that. And I will probably attempt to momentary blink this, especially since a lot of what he has to play is... Uh, sure. I'm just going to momentary blink this. to make a token, pass his turn. All right, so I have six mana now. Um, I have a Rift Wing. I could bounce his creatures and stuff to hand. I could also bounce a bunch of random lands to hand, which doesn't feel super good just because he can get me a little bit. Um, what I kind of want to do is slay a Magus of the Disc here. One, two, three, four, five, six. Um, I think I slay Magus of the Disc here and then Magus of the Disc, and then play Thraven Inspector. It's a little risky, but I think it's the right play. It means next turn I could kill them all in Eerie Interlude with the little combo I have. 
Okay, lay down the Raven Inspector, get two clue tokens. And uh, I will pass the turn. There's some question about whether I want to block the manifest or not, because uh, if it's just a land or something, it's not a big deal, but if he can flip it up, he can probably kill whatever I block with it. I mean, Wall of Omens would be what I'd be most tempted to block with. But I think I just take it here, because I really want these to live and generate value. Right, he swings in. Sure, I'll take six. Seems fine. Plays. Hopefully he doesn't have a hand pick apart card. He flips up Liliana, sure. And then he plays a secure tribe holder. Also sure. So seems pretty good. Um, there's a question about whether I want to main phase or or do it on his turn, the uh, little combo here. What blows him out more? He can sack this at any time for free. How does this flip? The problem is he can instant speed sacrifice any of those to flipper, and he will. He'll do that with uh, secure tribe builder or this either way. Um, I could threaten to bounce things to hand. Well, I guess I can always Rift Wing next turn and bounce Liliana back to hand, so it's not that big a deal, and I get two fires off on it. One, two, three, four, five, six. It takes four mana to do my combo. I'm at six. So I guess I'm probably just going to break a clue. It's just a matter of whether I wait till his turn or do it on my turn. What's the advantage of waiting until his turn? I think I should wait till his turn. The zombie won't have summoning sickness, or I'll be able to kill it one of the two. So I think I just pass here. turn. He's probably going to sack or cure a tribe elder and grab a land. I haven't seen any counter spells from him, and I can do this at instant speed, so he could kill one of these in response, but that's not really a big deal to me. He goes on the attack, he attacks all. Let's go to block. Uh, block. 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 Five mana for something. Oh, wow. Well, it still gets to go to me before it gets to do anything. Please sack your creature first. Nope. So I hold priority. I will pay one. And he's probably going to do things in response anyway, but I don't want to give him a chance to... Uh, to uh, flip the Liana. Okay, so he's going to get a bunch of manifest tokens, which is a little annoying for me, but that's fine. Uh, it does kill my Panharmonicon, which I forgot about, but... Oh, and it killed my clues. I should have cracked a clue in response. Silly me! Oh well, it's alright. Not the end of the world. That was uh, a pretty big punt by me. Yikes. Uh, I'm going to pretend I didn't do that, but I guess I'm still going to get to crack a clue. I just It's going to be the only clue I have. I should I should have had a plus one clue. Each player discards a card, sure. I'll discard a rift wing. Okay. And I also should have had an extra card to discard to it in case there was a better one to discard. Okay. Should have done that first. Okay, reflector mage is pretty good. So is Titan. Draw, I get a land. So, okay, what do I want to do? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I have some options. I can bounce, I could play Panharmonicon, bounce both of those to hand. That might be the best play. And then swing it uh, Liliana for three. Doesn't feel bad. I can also play Frost Titan, tap down one. I think tapping down two things next turn is better. Because I'm not paying Armada kind of out. Same with Rift Wing, I could bounce two things next turn. I'm gonna have to discard something though, so I'll probably end up discarding this. Panharmonicon. Reflector Mage. Bounce 
that's that, that's that. Attack Liliana. The only thing that's going to be a little hard about Liliana is whether to... Probably depends what he plays. He does. I did kind of fill up his hand again. I still think Frost Titan has to be what I keep. It just seems like the most powerful threat here. Right, Rift, Rift Wing is really good too. Um, terminate. Um, sure. Lightning Bolt. Sh sure. Plus each player discards a card. Uh, I'll discard. Uh, I'll discard Rift Wing. I think. He has two cards too, so he has to also discard something. He discards a land. I, I wouldn't be that surprised then if his uh, last card is also a land. Oh, well, that's pretty good. I guess it'll make me discard it, but... Oh. Oh. I tapped that wrong. Blue. One, two, three, four, six. Alright. I'll just, uh, I'll keep... Can I take him off any colors? Not really. I think I'll keep his manland tapped down, and... Doesn't really matter here. I guess I'll tap down Stomping Grounds. Unfortunately, he's going to make me discard my other Frost Titan, which is really annoying, but that's life. wonder if he can play both things he has. He probably can. I still think I can kill Liliana here, though. I have a lot of good draws. Oh, he has the Terminate. Oh, uh, he has to pay two extra, sure. But that, that terminates a big deal. I don't know why I didn't attack Liliana last turn. That was silly of me. Alright, so he happened to have pretty much the one card that would beat me. And he also makes me discard. So I guess I guess I'm in a little trouble now. Um, I mean, Liliana's ticking up super slowly. Please down tick instead of up ticking. That would be pretty great. He has to up tick here, right? Secure a tribe elder. Oh no, he down ticked. Nice. Alright. Well, land for turn. One, two, three, four, six. Probably, you probably wanted to, uh. Not that this really matters, but I guess I'll tap him and keep that tapped. I'm now kicking myself for not doing this last turn, although the discard card ability on here doesn't really do anything now, so I guess it's not a super big deal. Sure, sack, for a, sack him for a land, seems fine. And what do you have? You have two cards in hand. Scavenging ooze is going to be pretty mean. I can keep it tapped down forever though, so I'm not super worried. Huntmaster of the Fells is also super mean. Alright, so that's actually really good last two cards. Sure. Get a wolf token. Um, probably tap down your wolf token and make you block with something considerably better. I can literally just tap down all your creatures. But I want to attack first. Attack, Liliana, Liliana, I'll tap down Wolf Token, I don't want you jumping with that. Do you want to save Liliana? I'm asking you the question. Giving you the option. The jump blocks with scavenging you seems fine. Alright. I think I passed turn here. I can blink any of these things. I might just blink draw two cards. Uh, I can also blink her defensively. I suspect he's going to not cast anything intentionally, or I, I guess unintentionally in this case, to flip Hunt Master to probably try to kill Miss Meadow Witch, but I can blink here in response, which is what I presumably will do. This turn it's a little tricky. I think it's so tempting to blink Wall of Omens, but the better play is probably blink Frost Titan. Because if I blink Frost Titan, I get to tap down Raging Ravine. 
Okay, he minuses to get scavenging use back. Sure, I guess that's a chump blocker. He taps a bunch of mana. This phase, I need to blink something. Yeah, I think I, I think I blink uh, Frost Titan. I think that's the correct play. Okay, Frost Titan. Tap those two down. Okay, that flips. Your injury loot here is actually really good. So attack time. I guess he gets to flip back, attack Christmas tree, attack Liliana, he gets to tap down, I guess I'll just tap down Raging Ravine. So, no blocks, he goes to 13, I think I'm just going to pass, alright, that comes back into play. Now I have it up defensively, sure that's fine. Always yield. Eat all the stuff you want to eat. Maybe I shouldn't always yield, but right now I don't really care. It's going to gain a little bit of life. Let's always yield to this. Again, I don't know if I should really always yield to that, but I don't really feel like tapping through him, eating every single card in every graveyard. Sure. What did he top deck? Anything good? Um, I, mean, I guess I might as well blink him. He might now have a bolt or something. Sure. Do two damage to each creature. Seems fine. It's a little annoying, but it's not that big a deal. And he's just going to eat some more. Sure, that's fine. Okay. Comes back into play. Maybe I should have played that more defensively. Um, do I tap them both down now or do I tap down lands? I'm not really that worried about his lands, so I guess I'll just choose them both now. Gets me a couple more swings in. Unfortunately, I drew a land. Keep ranging Ravine from untapping, I suppose. Pass turn, take six. I feel like I'm winning this game, but it's going so slowly. I need to speed up my play a little bit. I'm at five minutes. I eat some more stuff, that's fine. Not that much more to eat. Um, if he top decks yet another kill spell, he's top decked a lot of kill spells, which is really bad for me. But if he top decks yet another one, I'm in trouble. I right, now I'm just uh, top decking lands only. I actually don't care that much if he gets to untap the uh, wolf there, so I guess I'll just uh, tap down that one. Goes to eight. Seems good. Eat some more stuff, sure. Holding up Eerie Interlude mostly because I don't want to get blown out if he draws a uh, Terminate or something. Playing something. Fires of Raging Ravine, sure. Swings for eight. Um, I guess I'll use it here. Doesn't feel very good. Um, if he has the blowout card here, I'm in trouble. At least I get to draw some cards, though, assuming he doesn't. If I take four. Well, they both have trample. I don't take four. Okay, thought sees me. Sure. Is he just doing that so that he's played two turns? I actually don't know why I did that. It makes no sense to me. I can draw a bunch of cards. Keep, uh,. This and 
this taps down. Okay. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I can play all my things. One, two, three, four, five. Let me try Mole Drifter first. Cast. One, two, three, four, five, six. Maybe that's just better. Tap down. Land, tap down another land. Uh, tap down. Let's tap down this one. He has double bolt or something. Obviously, I'm gonna lose. So, still, still a chance that I lose. Oh shoot! No, that doesn't. I don't think that actually does that much. He now has a something sick wolf. That's it. That's all it does. That's that's fine. Passes. Oh, he gets to do two damage to me and two damage to target creature. Shoot, I forgot about that. All right, I go to two. I guess now if he has bolt, he wins. Does he have bolt? He does not seem to. Um, one, two, three, four, five. Rift twin cloud skate. I guess I won't cast a second thing here. Let's uh, bounce the wolf token. Bounce, I don't know, like Raging Ravine, I guess. Go to attacks, attack in. I'll keep both the two creatures tapped. And that's game! Wow, we won that match! That was about as long and grinding as you can get. GG. Ooh, he said good game to me too. I, yikes. That was an interesting game. Uh, we got there off Panharmonicon and Double Frost Tightening and lots of hijinks. Uh, I probably played really slow. Hopefully I wasn't too boring. I think towards the end I probably stopped talking a lot. But yes, this deck is uh, this deck's pretty sweet. I like it. All right, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Hey guys, Bob Gar here. I just really wanted to quickly say, if you enjoyed the video, please give it a like. If you enjoy my content in general and would like to see more of it, subscribe. I'll be coming out with more content in the future. And please leave me comments and let me know what I'm doing right, what I'm doing wrong, both in terms of production and in terms of my play and my deck building and all that. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. And I will see you guys next time.